basic properties of light. Learn about luminous objects, extended and point sources. Rectilinear propagation of light and shadow formation. Ampra and penumbra formation due to extended and point source. Can we get colored shadows, visibility and diffuse reflection etc? Luminous and non-luminous object. Objects which themselves emit light are called luminous objects. Objects which do not emit light themselves but get visible by the light falling from some luminous object on them are called non-luminous objects. Some examples of luminous objects are the sun, fire, firefly and non-luminous objects are moon, planets, mirror. Extended and point sources of light The candle emits light in all directions. Such a source of light is called an extended source of light. Placing a cardboard with a pin hole on it in front of the candle. This pin hole now acts as a point source of light. In nature only extended sources exist and a point source can only be obtained from them. Rectilinear propagation of light. Placing three cardboards with pin holes in such a way that the pinhole and the flames are aligned in a straight line. In this position of the cardboards, rays from the candle reach the observer's eye. If one of the cardboards is displayed sideways, the light is no longer seen. The candle light is only seen when all the three holes are in a straight line. This clearly establishes the fact that light travels in a straight line. This property of light is called rectilinear propagation of light. Shadows Consequence of rectilinear propagation of light As light travels in a straight line, the globe placed in the path of light obstructs the passage of light and forms a dark patch behind it. This dark patch is called shadow. Therefore, we see that shadow is a direct consequence of the rectilinear propagation of light. The shadow formed is of varying darkness. The less dark outer region is called the penumbra, while the dark inside region is called the umbra. Umbra, umbra and penumbra How umbra and penumbra are formed? Shadow formation by an extended source of light. Here the source of light, which is the candle, is an extended source. Rays from a point A of the source pass through the extreme ends P and Q of the object and strike at points M and Y on the screen. Rays from a point B of the source pass through the extreme ends P and Q of the object and strike at points X and N on the screen. This part of the shadow doesn't receive any light from the source at all and is of uniform darkness. This part of the shadow receives some light either from the upper or lower part of the source and is not of uniform darkness. Umbra and penumbra, shadow formation by a point source of light. 
placing a cardboard with a pin hole in front of the candle to obtain a power point source of light. The shadow now formed is one of uniform darkness. Rays from the point source O pass through the extreme ends P and Q of the object and strike at points X and Y on the screen. Region XY receives no light from the source and is completely dark. A point source of light only forms the umbrella. 